It's been called the most unique stadium in the country by some, and to Bears fans, there's no better place to watch a football game. Welcome to Chicago. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth getting ready for the start of the game. This should be a great Week 9 matchup between the Bears and the Cardinals. Truly one of the most gifted backs in the league, and he's getting ready to take the stage. And I know, like you, I'm looking forward to watching him. We have perfect weather today, clear and mild, great for football. This game is presented by Snickers, who reminds you to be a champion. The Cardinals are going to kick, so they'll get the ball first in the second half. They get him at the 30. Gordon with cover two man makes a lot of sense in this situation. They might be looking to go deep. So I think you want to go with a defense that's going to keep both safeties back. Short throw. There for the reception. Bennett gains about five yards on the play. So that'll make it second down. Here's the give. Forte gets about a yard on the play. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. It's there for the catch. The Cardinals did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. It'll go out at the 38-yard line. They'll go to work at the 38. Arizona is in the Wildcat formation. And the receiver will throw. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. They'll get nine yards on the play. That'll make it second down. Passes it out. Jonathan Stewart was the intended receiver on the play. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. He tries to scramble. Bullocks was there to bring him down. Take a quick timeout while the injured player gets off the field. Looks like he hurt his arm. First and ten. It's showtime, baby. Dumps it out right. Tackle was made by Brian Erlocker. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got him down there, picked up a nice game. Throws it. Holt loses the ball. Chicago will have the football. He can't bring him down. Wide receivers are... Catching the football, they're not always good at running with the football. It takes a lot of strength to hold on to that ball, and he gave it up. Coach Ken Wessenhut throws his challenge flag, so this one will get another viewing. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is overturned. What a saving play. They'll reverse the call on this fumble. You know, it's just not easy to see when the runner is down. And that time, the officials took their time, able to take a second look, and they got it right. Go. 
And he's hit as he let go of the ball. And he's dropped as soon as he makes the catch. Holt makes his third grab. Throws it short. There for the catch. They push him out of bounds, and now they have first and goal. He got that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did, and when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. He scrambles away. Touchdown, Arizona. You know, it's always tough enough to defend the goal line down here in this situation, but when the quarterback is also a threat to run, that sometimes is just too much to stop. Rackers makes it a seven-point game. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Payne tees up the ball and looks ready to kick it deep. Graham and Hester look ready to return this one. He'll return it from the six. Hit and drop at the 39-yard line. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They hand it off. Forte gains around three yards on the run. Cutler hands off. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Carlos Dansby is there on the tackle. Forte on the handoff. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. He got it. And remember, those guys on the field can't see that yellow line, but sometimes they can feel it. That time, just enough for that first down. Gets the pass away. Khalid was defending on the play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and seven coming up. They're going to pitch it. And Trell Roll is there to bring him down. Forte gets seven yards on the play. Third down, three to go. The pass is away. Makes the kick. They'll get in for the touchdown. The Chicago Bears punch it in after going nearly 60 yards in six plays. Jay Cutler really delivered the goods that time. Wow, he made the perfect choice, and now they're celebrating six points. Witherspoon fields it at the 7. He'll bring it back to the 30. The Cardinals were able to put a scoring drive together on their last time out. Throws it deep. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Stay loose. Stay loose. Second and seven coming up. Now he's scrambling. 
Yeah, really not a bad play on that one to pull a ball down in that situation because now not only do you have to you know, think about maybe pulling somebody out of coverage or maybe just slow down that pass rush a little bit, but it plants a seed in the defense's mind. The stop was made by Alex Brown. He just broke that one for a big gain and the first down. Boy, that's a killer on third down to allow that kind of run <laughs> to be ripped off in there. You're thinking, okay, if they want to throw the ball, take a chance on getting a big play, that's fine. But to see a run go for that kind of a gainer, that makes you sick. Brings it in. Erlocker is there on the tackle. Yeah, this is a defense that just has too much speed for plays like that. You have to loosen them up some with some deep attempts for the short passes underneath the work. Passive. He makes the catch wide open. Bolden lost the ball. Graham grabs it on the ground. The defense forces an early mistake. Sometimes that'll trigger a huge momentum shift. Coach Ken Wesenhunt is not too happy with the call on the field, so he's going to throw the red flag. The the so after looking into it, they couldn't find enough evidence to reverse the call. The offense will take over at the 28-yard line, first and 10. Hands it to the back. Sheds one tackler. Good run there to move the chains. Broke a couple of tackles along the way. Nice running on that one. That's the kind of power that you see out of this guy. The ability to make somebody miss, or in this case, two somebody's. Gets the pass off. Comes down with it. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. Here's the pass. The stop was made by William. The Bears are putting together a good looking drive here. That's their third first down. Throws it. Has it on the sideline, but was he in bounds? The officials will huddle. So after conferring, they're gonna say he was out of bounds. The halfback with the carry. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Protect against Forte a deep ball. About four yards and make sure the these guys drive the length of the field. Keep everything in front of you and force them to execute. Gets the ball away, and it's completed. Brooks was there on the tackle. It really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish a run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. Not much time to throw. Tremendous effort and good teamwork by the Cardinals. This would be a good call here because it gives your defense a chance to cover all the receivers in man to man while keeping two defenders back, each defending half the deep field. Barely gets that one off. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. Got a hand on him. Throws the pick. And he has plenty of room. And this one will go for six. He gets in for six. He had that one all the way. Not only a great break on the ball, but he knew what to do with it and stuck it in the end zone. Tremendous play. Rackers packs it on to make it a seven-point game. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Yeah. 
Manning fields it at the goal line. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Their last series was a downer, but this is a chance now to come back out and prove that you're not going to dwell on that. Just pick up a couple of first downs, and the last thing in the world they need right now, though, is a three and out. Give to the tailback. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. Pass is complete. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. Got to him just as he released it. McFadden makes the tackle. If you're going to try to stop want to call a tight this one because you'll be able to play man coverage balls, underneath get while still keeping two defenders back deep to prevent a long pass. Yeah. He's going to wear you out. Forte takes the handoff. He fights forward to about the 43 before he's wrestled to the ground. I like cover one in this spot. Make sure you don't let the outside receivers get an outside release. Force them to the inside where you have safety help in the middle of the field. Cutler gives it up the middle. The stop was made by Dockett. So another third down upcoming for the offense. You gotta be kidding me. Bennett was the intended receiver. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So it's fourth down. The Bears ready to punt this one away. It'll go out at the 19-yard line. They'll take over at the 19. Gets the pass away. The tackle was made by Lance Briggs. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. Throws it out. Bat it away. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. Arizona lines up in the Wildcat. He's there for the catch. Erlocker is there on the tackle. The Bears were flying to the ball on that series. There's no way they were going to let him get a first down. Still moving. He needs to get the pass off. And in most defensive schemes, the one guy that is not accounted for is the quarterback and it becomes so frustrating on those big downs if a quarterback takes off and picks up a first down passes the ball and he caught it the tackle was made by Erlock oh, and tailbacks oh, love that this? anytime they can get into the open field think about that position you're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make a play Short throw to the right. Cuts back and he's dropped. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. He throws left. Hit as he caught it and he's able to hang on. The Cardinals are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Short pass to his left. 
It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. Short throw to the left. Lance Briggs is there to bring him down. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. There for the reception. And he's hammered at the three-yard line. The threat of the run is always going to make the play pass more effective, forcing them to respect the run, and that will allow things to open up downfield. They give it to the tailback. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. Huge pressure by the defense. Broke it up. Fourth down, and this one is a chip shot about 19 yards out. Here's the kick. Wait, they fake it. He's under a heavy rush. How about that? They fake the field goal and run it in. Showtime, baby. Just such a great call. They saw the defense coming with the pressure. They obviously scouted that perfectly and took full advantage for the touchdown. Great call. Drop at the 26-yard line. There's still plenty of football to be played, but so far this offense seems lethargic. They really need a spark here. Passes it. It's there for the catch. Knox makes his 70th catch of the season. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. Here's the throw. There for the catch. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play action pass. Open it up down the field. Gets the pass out. Makes the kick. The tackle was made by Adrian Wilson. The Bears are having Give some success getting the ball the down the field on this really drive. This offense up. is clicking. The quarterback won't know what hit him. <laughs> on the ground, up the middle. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. He needs to make a decision. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. Knox was his intended target. Third down. They're going to pitch it. Dominic Rogers Camardi was there to bring him down. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time this defensive line did exactly that. Yeah. 
It's fielded at the two. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. The Cardinals hope to get another touchdown on this series to take the crowd out of it. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. Passes it out. Down the sideline. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Arizona. And already this one is looking like it's out of hand. Well, we've seen stranger things happen in the NFL, but this one is beginning to smell like a blowout. Rackers is good on the point out. Here's your sprint drive summary. Well, at least one team is playing hard as we get set for the second quarter. Our score, the Cardinals 28, the Bears 10. Payne is just about ready to put his leg into this. Graham and Hester stand deep awaiting the kickoff. Hester takes it from the six. He gets out to the 28-yard line. The Bears were able to score on that last series, but just a field goal, and sometimes those are actually momentum shifters for the defense. Throws it. Brings it in. At the 40. He's down the sideline. And that play could have easily gone for six. And when you start to hit a couple of big pass plays, it really puts the defense in a tough spot. They no longer feel quite as brave coming up and defending those short passes. Throws it short. Well, they got away with that one. Really not a very good play throwing back across your body like that, but... <laughs> Every once in a while, you'll sneak that in. End zone. And the pass is knocked away. Dominic Rogers Cromartie had the coverage on the play. to the end zone and it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection just terrific play by the defense they followed the quarterback's eyes made a quick jump on the ball and were all over that one. so the score now the Chicago Bears 13 the Arizona Cardinals 28 Brought down at the 24-yard line. The Cardinals ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Gets the pass away. Hillman gets his hand on it. That incompletion will bring up second down. down with it the Cardinals are doing a pretty good job in the passing game the receivers are finding some space in the secondary and the ball is getting there on time he's scrambling Kurt Warner looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. They're looking at a second and long here after the sack. And the defense has a heavy rush. 
falls incomplete. And that's one of those that the wideout goes back to the huddle thinking, he stinks, this guy's terrible. Then as soon as he sees his quarterback, he says, don't worry about it, we'll get it next time. The pass is away. The tackle was made by Nathan Basher. Holt with his fifth grab of the game. Warner left the action earlier and his injury will sideline him for the rest of the game. Here we go. <laughs> he tries to scramble and it's completed. You can tell this is an offense that believes in their passing game and especially this quarterback to make clutch plays like that. Bullocks has it. If you want to put some heat in the quarterback, this call may be the way to go. They go with the run. Timmons was there on the tackle. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. Forte gains about four yards on the play. The quarterback sometimes has trouble reading coverage schemes. Keep him confused by rolling to cover three on this one. Dumps it out right. He's tackled right around the 50-yard line by Timmon. He rolls out to the right. It's tip. Desmond Clark was the intended receiver on the play. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Gets the pass off. Williams picks it off. Hey! Not a good way for that drive to end. That one really needed to go the distance and put seven points up so they could draw a little closer here in the first half. But give the defense credit for not slipping. They can't beat us straight up. Here's the pass. Brian Erlocker makes the tackle. Burris makes his third grab. Second down and very short coming up. Pass is complete. Picked up about six yards there for the first down, and that's a quarterback and a receiver really understanding the defense. They saw what the defense was giving them, and they simply took it. Short throw to the right. The stop was made by Graham. Burt Warner is sort of a streaky passer. You know, when he gets into a rhythm like he seems to be doing right now, he can shred a defense. He passes short. Jonathan Stewart was the intended receiver. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. End zone! Burris with the grab, but there's been no signal. Did he make the catch? The call is not a touchdown. It's third down, 10 yards for a first. Throws it. 
and the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Off the upright and good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He'll return it from the six. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. The Bears want to get better results from this series. Their last one ended with a turnover. Gets the ball away. Drops the easy pitch. Dominic Rogers Cromartie was defending on the play. They line up at the 26. Forte on the handoff. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Rogers Cromartie was there to bring him down. Gets the pass away. Almost kick. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. The Cardinals take the field, looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time out. Throws it out. He goes up high for the catch. He's pushed out at about the 17-yard line by Tillman. And when you're trying to catch those high, hard ones, you just don't know what's going to happen to your body. I tell you, you haven't lived until you caught one of those and had one of those clowns flip you upside down. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Arizona breaks out their Wildcat offense. They line up at the 18. Passes the ball. They bring him down, but it's first and goal for the Cardinals. This has been a good combo here in the first half. He's caught passes totaling 100 yards. Yeah, and you really can't do much more than what they've been trying to do to them. They know they're getting the ball to this receiver. You try and double cover them. You really can't triple cover somebody because then that means there's somebody else running wide open. They're just going to have to take their medicine here. The Cardinals use five plays to take it to the end zone after beginning the drive on the 40. Brackers is good on the point after. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Dropped at the 32-yard line. The Bears have had a long day so far, and if they don't make something happen on this series, well, you're going to see these players getting more and more frustrated. Short pass. Timmons makes the tackle. Matt Forte makes his third grab. Make sure your safety is up close to the line of scrimmage. It will help him close the distance between himself and the quarterback more quickly on the blitz.
Just gets it away. Dan Speed is there on the tackle. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Don't do us like that! Forte takes the gift. Forte gets six yards on the carry. When you run cover one, you got to make sure that your safety in the middle of the field stays deeper than their deepest receiver. And he has to be ready to break in the ball when he sees the quarterback put it in the air. Harrelson makes the tackle. I think this is a good defense to go with. It'll allow you to lock up man-to-man -man with your underneath coverage guys, and it'll let your two defenders deep to help against any long pass. Cutler with the give. Yeah, and now you go back to your respective benches, and the defense is happy and celebrating and very positive, and the offense is going back with a puzzled look on their face. It'll go out at the 26-yard line. The Cardinals got the ball into the end zone on their last possession. Passes to his left. We have a Cardinals player who seems to be shaken up. First and ten. He's there for the catch. They can't bring him down. Boy, that's just a special play right there. You see these great athletes on occasion. The ball's thrown up, and it's just a jump ball, go get it kind of situation. And he went up and made a great play there. Those are the kind that quarterbacks don't soon forget. Throws it short. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Burris is able to make his fourth reception. He's running out of time. And he caught it. Charles Tillman was there to bring him down. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. The receiver passes it. To the 10. He dives for the end zone. Touchdown. That's his second touchdown catch over only in the first half. You just can't miss with this guy. If he gets the ball in his hands in the open field, more often than not, he's going to score away. Rackers adds the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. Payne is just about ready to put his leg into this one. Hester and Graham are deep to return this kick. Graham fields it at the two. He brings it back to the 23. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 25-yard line before he's hit and dropped. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers are a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. The tackle was made by Timmons. Timmons cracks him down, wraps him up for tackle number five. Passes it. There for the reception. Timmons is there on the tackle. Olsen now with four catches in the game. He throws right. Is there for the catch. Hester can't hang on to the ball. Fight for the loose ball. Who's got it? Dockett gets his hand on it and scoops it up. 
The Cardinals recover it after the long battle. He used that big old body of his to shield everybody else off the football, and he won that battle. Here's the throw. There for the catch. Lance Briggs is there to bring him down. Kurt Warner is really carving up this defense with yet another completion. He's now up over the 300-yard passing oh, line. No. He scrambles around. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. Those children under the age of two do not need a ticket and were expected to sit on an adult's lap during the game. It's one play at a time, baby. Squeeze. Right back to three. The pocket is collapsing. Knocked away. They line up at the 33. Gets the pass out. Hillman gets the pick. The cover one allows you to stack the line with eight men in the box to help out with your run support. But it puts your cornerbacks in a one-on-one -on -one situation with their receivers. Passes it out. Makes the catch. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wideout, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz, and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Brushed as he threw. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Throws it. The tackle was made by D.J. Williams. Cutler has done an excellent job of leading the aerial attack in this one, racking up over 300 yards through the air. Dumps it out left. Talib was there on the tackle. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. You know, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen now. Yeah, he really didn't have an opportunity to break that one, but at least he was able to get enough for the first down and move the chains. They'll keep it on the ground again. Forte gets about a yard on the play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Short pass to his left. The stop was made by D.J. Williams. That's a gain of Assigning eight. a spy to the quarterback is a good way to make sure you always have a defender accounting for the quarterback out there. This is one of those defenses that makes Goes it very effective zone. when you yeah. want to go against a guy Touchdown, who likes Chicago. to scramble. Gold adds the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. the 30 dropped at the 37 the Cardinals suffered an interception on their last possession the offense will take over at the 37 all kinds of pressure Charles Tillman had the coverage on the play second down Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Flip, flip, flip. 
under heavy pressure. He's dropped. Really good work by the Bears. Third and long now after the sack. Gets the pass away. Batted away. And that incomplete pass will probably lead to the punting unit coming out onto the field as they go three and out. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there, and I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. He fields it at the 17. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. The Bears got a little boost on that last series by punching it in. Now they want to build on that. Moves to his right. The pass is away. The tackle was made by Dominic Rogers Cromartie. He's been doing stuff like this all season long. There are just some guys in the league that the coaches will tell you, hey, he's going to get his yards. We just have to try and keep him out of the end zone. Clearly, this guy from the beginning of the season on has just been a dominant force in the league. Passes. Timmons knocks it down. Greg Olson was his intended target. Protect against the deep patterns on this one. Running cover four will force him to look underneath. And if they try and throw deep, then they're going to be thrown right into coverage. to his left. Pass fourth down now after that incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during that last series. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. Maynard is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Taken from the six-yard line. At the 40. Across midfield. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. He returns this one all the way. Touchdown. Rackers is good on the point after. Let's take a look at the Sprint Drive Summary. Hester fields it at the two. Still working. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. Cutler hands it left. He fights forward to about the 29. Timmons makes the tackle. Just about three yards there. That brings up second down. Time for a short break as we send you to the studio for stats and highlights. All right, Tom, thanks. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the first half. Top plays from the first half, here you go.
Taking a look at the stats from your game now, there was a big discrepancy in the number of plays run by each team in the first half, and the edge was held by Chicago. Bruce has over 150 yards receiving. Arizona is on top, 52-20. Welcome back to Chicago. Witherspoon from the two. Dropped at the 32 yard line. They'll start at the 32 yard line. Gets the pass off. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. Second down, 10 yards to go. He doesn't get back to the line. from their own 26-yard line. Here's the pass. Makes the catch, and he is dropped. The Bears did an excellent job tackling and keeping things in front of them on that series to force the three and out. They get him at the 41-yard line. I think I'd go with the zone blitz on this one, hoping to cause some confusion in their pass protection. This can lead to a big play for your defense. Makes the short throw. Carlos Dansby was there to bring him down. Just a simple throw and catch for a gain of six. That's just the kind of passing play that this offense is built around. Brings it in. He gets knocked out of bounds right around the 50-yard line by Timmons. Looks like a gain of three on the pass. That'll make it third down. Throws it. Comes down with it. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. That last catch puts him over 100 receiving yards. And one of the things I like watching about this receiver is that he understands how to read coverages. More often than not, a wide receiver has to understand reading coverages at least as well as the quarterback. Otherwise, the quarterback will see one thing and the receiver another. Forte gains about two yards on the run. Gets the ball away. Forte makes it five catches for the game. Yeah, I think I'd go with this defense because it puts your corners and linebackers in man coverage underneath. And it gives you two deep zone over the top to stop any deep patterns. Screen pass to the back. When you get a halfback that gets in the open field with that kind of space, it is just so difficult to try and stop the screen. The offensive line got out in front. That was nice. Passes on the move. Very clean game played so far. No penalties, and we're now in the second half. Let's go straight, two straight. Let's go. 18. 
Jones takes the toss left. They tackle him for a loss. There's a Bears player slowly making his way to the sideline to get checked out. Cutler pitches it out. And they didn't get it. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. He's got it. Here's your sprint drive summary. and dropped at the 32-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. Let's go! Gets the pass away, and it's completed. The stop was made by Tillman. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare you know a lot of times those guys they come out and they're good running the football but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game this guy can clearly do both anytime you give up that quick pressure like that very seldom are those passes completed The back makes the catch, and he has a lane. The tackle was made by Bullock. Another positive game, and that gives him 100 yards receiving for the game. And this guy just knows how to make plays. He's somebody we've watched him throughout the course of his career, but especially here today, constantly in big situations making plays. Pass is complete. The stop was made by Manning. Burris makes it five catches for the game. Not much time to throw. He's there for the catch. Lance Briggs was there on the tackle. Bruce has snared 10 passes. The receiver with the pass. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Dumps it out right. set with his third reception. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it short, and he caught it. Jonathan Stewart with his eighth reception. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. He throws left. Knocked loose. Bullocks was defending on the play. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Short throw to the right. Helen Meyer is there to bring him down. No penalties called in this one. No sightings of the referees. This is my kind of a football game. Still moving. Passes the line. And that's so frustrating for a defense when you 
think you have everybody covered. It looks great, and then the quarterback takes off and scrambles in for a touchdown. Rackers packs on the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Brought down at the 29-yard line. The Bears had some success on that last series, putting up three points, but now they're going to want to take it to another level with a touchdown. Throws it out. Harrelson intercepts it. The tackle was made by Knox. Again, it looked like there was a little miscommunication on that interception. In the NFL, the quarterback's primary responsibility is to maintain possession of the ball. Don't give it away. He's the most trusted guy in the field, and today he's looking shaky. Burris has it go right through his hand. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked off. Not a good decision at all there. Rolls right, passes the ball, drops the sure kick. Holt was the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, 10 yards to go. Passes it. There for the reception. Bruce has simply destroyed the defensive backfield in this one burning them at will on his way to more than 200 yards receiving. Arizona breaks out their Wildcat offense. And the receiver will throw. Touchdown, Cardinal. Make the you know, it's one of the reasons they call it professional football because a lot of guys coming out of college, they can run the ball, some of them can catch the football, but when you get a magical guy like this that can do it all, what a difference he can make for a team. Rackers adds the extra point. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Payne has his team lined up for the kickoff. Hester and Graham stand deep awaiting the kickoff. Graham fields it at the goal line. There's a Bears player slowly making his way to the sideline to get checked out. For the added element of surprise, try blitzing one of your cornerbacks. The offense won't know what hit him. Short throw to the left. He's still going. Terrific game today for rookie wide receivers. These coaches have been very high on him ever since training camp. And today we're seeing exactly why. Hands it off. Timmons was there on the tackle. A couple of yards there. That'll bring up second down. Second down and eight. It's one play at a time, baby. All right, now. Me and me. Me and me. Here's the throw. They picked it off. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And the Cardinals are in for another score. Well, that's not exactly what they had in mind when they called that play. They desperately needed to get some points on the board, and instead they have to send their defense right back out there again. Arizona will be kicking off. Knox and Manning look ready to return this one. Knox fields it at the goal line. 
He breaks the tackle. This offense will have to quickly forget their misfortune and try to turn it around on this series. The pocket is collapsing. Is there for the catch. Bennett makes it five catches for the game. With the speed you have at linebacker, this is a good blitz to use to get them involved in the action. Short pass to his left. Carlos Dansby was there to bring him down. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man coverage. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. A pickup of about three, and that will bring up second down. From the 36-yard line. He throws right. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. DJ Williams had the coverage on the play. Third down and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. Cutler hands it off. They will be short. Forte gains about five yards on the run. It's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. have put together a couple of nice drives back to back. Let's see if the defense can adjust. The Cardinals will begin this drive at the 43 yard line. All kinds of pressure. They get to him. He has been on quite a pace this year in sacks. That's his fifth so far. So the sack on first down sets them back a bit, brings up a second down and 13 situation. Gets the pass out. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third down and 13. Passes it out. Basher bats it away. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Breaks a tackle. He'll be helped off the field by the trainer, so we may not see him return. Their quarterback has a tendency to get rattled under pressure. Let's turn it up a notch and go with the linebacker blitz. Here's the halfback. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Ellis was there on the tackle. Second down, eight yards to go. He's sacked. That was a very good effort by the Cardinals. I like this defensive call in this situation. It'll allow you to take advantage of man coverage underneath while protecting against the deep strike with your safeties playing back. The halfback with the carry. Darnell Dockett makes the tackle. Big run stop that time by the defense, bringing up fourth down. Tremendous play. 
And they can really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. We'll get our first flag of the game. This one might be coming back. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Flipping by the receiving team. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own nine. He throws left. Briggs was there on the tackle. Doucette is able to make his fourth reception. Two yards away here on second down. He needs to get rid of it. Got a hand on him. Throws the pick. And the Bears will add to their lead. Larry, no joke! Gold is good on the point after. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Witherspoon from the five. Dropped at the 32-yard line. The Cardinals want to get better results from this series. Their last one ended with a turnover. The offense will start at the 32-yard line. It's first and ten. Let's go. Throws it. There for the catch. Kurt Warner continues to shred this defense. That last completion puts him over 400 yards for the game. Dumps it out left. Makes the catch. Runs right through the tackle. Oh, okay, oh. Holt has been a very effective weapon in the passing game today. That last catch puts him above 100 yards. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Gets the pass away. McKillop is there to bring him down. The Bears have pretty much shut down one of the top receivers in the league today. That was his first catch. Short pass to his left. Holt has six. Wait. The officials will huddle. They say, yes, it is a touchdown. The Arizona Cardinals started at their own 30 and used four plays for the score. Kurt Warner is not easily rattled. That time the defense came with a blitz, and yet he looked so calm, and he made them pay the ultimate price, six points. He'll return it from the one. Drop at the 26-yard line. Cover two is a good option in this area of the field because it takes away most of the quarterback's throwing lanes by putting five defenders in underneath coverage. Passes to his left. Tackle was made by Zach Thomas. McKee makes it five catches for the game. Good job over there, baby. I see y'all. Good job over there, baby. Forte on the run. 
He fights forward to about the 39. Harrelson was there to bring him down. Passes away, brings it in, and Trell Rolls makes the tackle. You just can't let him get the ball, can you? That reception put him over 100 yards. And this receiver just looks so confident catching the football. You know, if, if you really believe in your hands, it gives your eyes a chance to look away and try to make some runs after the catch. This guy knows he's going to make every catch and do it solidly. And the defense has a heavy rush. Well, that's sack number two for him. There's no question now. You've got to change your game plan. You're not getting it done with one-on-one -on -one blocking. Have to give some help. Have to get the quarterback feeling a little more confident back there. Comes down with it. He's still going. Matt Forte makes his seventh grab of the game. From the 37-yard line. That's what we are. Passes. Still perfect on the drive. Bennett has seven catches in the game. It's a good one now. It's a good one. On the ground, up the middle. They get three yards on the play. That brings up second down. Gets the pass off. Makes the reception. And they knock him out, but he picks up the first. He'll get the call again. The tackle was made by Campbell. Campbell has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. Handoff up the middle. The stop was made by Aaron Ross. Jones comes away with five yards on the carry. Got it off, barely. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. He's got it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Big hit there to bring him down. The Cardinals will start this drive at the 33. He throws left. You know, Tom, every once in a while, I see a guy make a play like that, and I just wonder, how in the heck did I ever play receiver in this league? <laughs> These guys are just phenomenal athletes. Defense closing in, gets hit, and it's intercepted. Still pushing. The tackle was made by Brown. Dumps it out left. The stop was made by Adrian Wilson. Gain of seven. When you run the cover on one, you got to make That'll sure that your safety down. in the middle of the field stays deeper than their deepest receiver. And he has to be ready to break in the ball when he sees the Here's quarterback the put it in the air. Adrian Wilson was there to bring him down. Joaquin Iglesias makes his first catch of the game after going the entire first half without one. Hey, hey, hey. 
him as he passed him. The tackle was made by Tali. Pick up a five on the play. Yeah, very safe, simple play, hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. Forte fumbles it. Campbell scoops it. Campbell fumbles. Chicago will maintain possession. Turnovers can definitely turn the football game around, and that defense had a chance that time to make a big play. Short throw to the right. Olsen makes it five catches for the game. And they'll line it up three yards away. This is your game, baby. That's what right it is. through his hands, he almost had the pick. Not so much a bad pass as a bad decision. He saw the coverage there, simply had to go to the next receiver. He didn't make the right move. Forte takes it up the middle. Moss was there on the tackle. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip go, out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. It's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 28-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 28-yard line. First down now and 10 to go. Barely gets that one off. Nathan Bashard makes the tackle. We have a Cardinals player who seems to be shaken up. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's scrambling. He's under a heavy rush. We would like to remind you that banners and signs that are deemed inappropriate or obstruct the view of other desks will be removed. Warner will not see any more snaps in this one. They decided to play it safe. He needs to make a decision. The stop was made by Adewale Ugundele. Big run on that one, but they were able to stop him before he got to the marker, and really that's the key. Occasionally, if you're going to try and make a play in a long yardage situation, a quarterback run from the defensive standpoint isn't always so bad. Runs with it, and there's a clearing. Tackle was made by Moore. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're gonna pick up the first down on you, they're gonna have to do it throwing the football. At that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. Man deep. Puts it up there. Bullock knocks it away. Charles Tillman was defending on the play. They line up at the 45. Scrambles, throws it, and it's completed. Briggs was there on the tackle. Bolden with his third reception. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Hit as he throws. Still on his feet. There's a Bears player slowly making his way to the sideline to get checked out. First down, 10 to go. All on the 17-yard line. Gets away. 
Freeman makes the tackle. A pickup of four. That'll bring up second down. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He needs to get the pass off. And they get to him. This is the tenth play of the drive. Arizona breaks out their Wildcat offense. Pass is complete. He's going to be tackled for a loss. The completion goes for negative yardage, loss of two. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. Arizona is ready to kick this one off. Graham and Knox stand deep awaiting the kickoff. From the seven. We'll take a quick timeout while the injured player gets off the field. Looks like he hurt his arm. If you want to try this defense, it allows your quickest linebacker to play as a spy. And he'll keep an eye on the quarterback who likes to scramble. Hammered as he lets it go. It's picked off. To the 20. To the 10. And the Cardinals are in for another score. Well, that's not exactly what they had in mind when they called that play. They desperately needed to get some points on the board, and instead they have to send their defense right back out there again. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Try and keep the offense off balance. I don't think they're expecting a zone blitz in this situation. Give to the tailback. Jones gets three yards on the play. Gets the ball away. Drops the easy pick. These guys are very aggressive and they like to challenge you vertically up the field. Keep three guys deep to protect against a downfield throw. He rolls right. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. He fields the punt at the 13. He makes it back to about the 31-yard line. The Cardinals will set up shop at the 31. The receiver passes it. Green drops it. Chicago gets possession. He's down the sideline. Well, you get yourself in the right place for a recovery by hustling. And that time, this defense would really fly into the ball. Cutler will hand it off. He fights forward to about the 19 before he's dropped by a host of tacklers. Second and nine. Ball on the 19. Gets the pass away. Bennett was the intended receiver. They line up at the 19. Game 
He'll try the end zone. He was going for the end zone, but the pressure that time on the blitz forced a bad throw, and that really was the difference on that one. And it's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. The Cardinals will begin this drive at the 32-yard line. The pocket is collapsing. He's dragged down on the play. The offense comes to the line here with 14 to go following the sack. Still moving. Helen Meyer is there on the tackle. This quarterback's a good athlete, no question about it. When he drops back to throw, you had better account for his ability to run the football or you're going to give up a first down like they just did. Got time, and now he's taking off. Fumble on the play. Brown picks it up off the ground. But one thing for sure, the ball's not going to stay free on that field for very long. Defensively, they were all over that one. Let's do this thing. Here's the give. You'd expect more from him and the offensive line as they've not mustered up many yards on the ground. Wow. Rolling right. Sacked. The Cardinals get their fourth sack of the game. Yeah, pretty good work, huh? Not too shabby at all. They found the right answer to get some pressure, and they just keep exploiting it. Under heavy pressure. So we'll probably see the punt team now after that incompletion as the offense goes three and out. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. It'll go out at the 26-yard line. The Cardinals will start this drive at the 26-yard line. Dumps it out right. He's there for the catch. Graham makes the tackle. What he can do out of the backfield is amazing. That last catch gave him 1,000 receiving yards on the season. And for a quarterback to get over 1,000 yards passing to a running back coming out of the backfield, that just adds so much to an offense because now what do you do? You can't just cover the guys down the field because this guy's kicking your tail coming out of the backfield. He's scrambling. Scrambles left. Erlocker is there on the tackle. That's a two-yard gain. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 34. Moves to his right. Wolf was his intended target. Here we go, take it away. They call on the kicker for the long field goal. This one from 51 yards away. It's a fake. 
He scrambles around. And he throws to the kicker. Has it on the sideline, but was he inbound? The officials will huddle. Well, let's give him some credit for making a great effort, but just unable to pull that one in. Throws it out. And he caught it. Carlos Dansby makes the tackle. Using a 4-3 set against four wide receivers means that basically linebackers have to get really involved in covering wideouts. That's a tough assignment. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. Passes the ball. No completion. And when you throw a football that hard, it just leaves no margin for error because there's no room for the wide receiver to make an adjustment. Throws short. June was there on the tackle. Not exactly what they were hoping for from that pass play. They took what the defense gave them, but it turned out to be not too much. It'll go out at the 20 yard line. The Cardinals will set up shop at the 20. There for the reception. Tackle was made by Hillenmeyer. Six yards that time on the pass play. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six yard gain and a uh, little progress. Uh, way to work, baby, way to work. away. It's a loose ball. Agunlie picks it up. Defenses are getting so much better at learning how to strip the football and change the momentum of a game. That's something that's practiced much more today than it was 20 years ago. Passes it. He leaves. It's caught. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. He rolls right. And they got him. The Cardinals are continuing to impress me in the pass rush department. You know, five sacks. You're not an easy guy to impress, but it sounds like five sacks may be enough. But this is a defense that really is beginning to overwhelm this offensive line. He throws short. Loose ball. Dansby grabs it up. Yeah, the first thing you do on defense when you see the ball out is you grab that guy that just fumbled the ball and make sure he doesn't recover it. That time the defense got on it quickly. Still going. The stop was made by Hillenmeyer. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes, and that time there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. ground with a tailback. 
He makes his way to about the 48 before he's gang tackled. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. They'll give it off here. It came loose. It's picked up. Everybody just well, down. there's really never Focus. a good time for a fumble, but you can tell that he just got sloppy with that football. He broke down on his fundamentals and he gave it up. Second down now, following the incomplete pass. Change up your coverages to keep the offense off balance. I don't think they'll be expecting cover three in this situation. Throws it short. The tackle was made by McFadden. Hey, no need to force it. He just took what the defense gave him there, found the open man, and picked up a few yards. Here's the throw. It's there for the catch. He does a good job to hang on to the ball. That's going to do it from Chicago. We have highlights coming right up, so don't go anywhere. Our final score is the Cardinals.